will tomorrow look like? Will it be what you expected? Or something you could never have predicted? Will it be frightening? Or exciting? Is it the reason you can't sleep at night? Or the reason you get up in the morning? Tomorrow will be all of these things. With Hub, you have a partner today who supports you in writing a more resilient, vibrant, and profitable tomorrow, protecting what matters most to you. Because the truth is, tomorrow is a gift, and we want you to be ready for it. The Roaring Game. We all love it, but sometimes curling just isn't as fun as it can be on the Nintendo Switch. Don't get stuck in your curling club this year. Learn the game inside and out. Play for your favorite country and take the curling world by storm. With up to four players per console, you can enjoy curling with your friends and family anywhere, anytime. Let's play curling. Available now only on Nintendo Switch. All right, and we're live here at the 2023 Hub International Insurance Alberta Curling Series Men's Major. This is the C final. Uh, winner gets to go into the championship round. Team Huskins from the Netherlands uh, versus Team Morizumi from Japan. We have uh, our YouTube up and our uh, Facebook so if you're out there please like share do all the things that we need to do online here to help us out should be uh, should be a great game we have some uh, people chiming in already go team Hoskins go Morizumi go Momo uh, good luck good curling let's go team Morizumi let's win and go to the playoffs so yeah, keep uh, keep bringing them in, and it should be a, should be a great game. Both these teams have been uh, been slogging it out here at the uh, Hub International Alberta Curling Series event, and uh, once you get into that C game, uh, you know everyone. Uh, Everyone's getting pretty tired. Uh, this is probably about their fourth game, fifth game in a row. Um, yeah, they're uh, looking to qualify to make some money. So we have two Japanese teams. Uh, the other Japanese teams, uh, Yanagazawa is in the uh, C final against Team Dijon, I believe. Let me uh, triple check my my draw. <laughs> that is correct. So Team Yangi Gizawa against Team Dijon. Morizumi against Team Huskins. And uh, we're off. This should be a great game. Uh, we... Uh, we're able to uh, warm up the plant a little bit, warm up the ice surface, so uh, we should get a touch more uh, more curl, just a touch and a little bit faster for these athletes. So uh, first weekend for us, uh, for our ice crew, with uh, first uh, event for our ice crew, um, huge shout out to goes to Logan Yo and. Uh, and Justin Runsman, they've been uh, absolutely uh, steadfast and, and helping out a uh, huge year at Beaumont Curling Club. Uh, it's been a phenomenal, uh, phenomenal weekend so far, and we hope to keep the athletes nice and happy uh, for the rest of it. So winner of this game gets to go into the championship round, which their game again will be 7 p.m. tonight. 
Sorry if you hear a yawn or two. It's uh, it's also been a long uh, long week for myself. My name is Matt Yo. Uh, doing some commentary here for you today. Uh, also part of uh, Tim's Ice Manufacturing. So this is one of the uh, curling clubs that uh, we operate and uh, do the ice at, uh, as one well as, as well as uh, seven other rinks around the area here. Uh, Tim'sIce.ca. If you want to learn about uh, who we are and what we do as well as a uh, contributing member of the Alberta Curling Series uh, with uh, Ted Appleman, Lindsay Birch, and Scott Hebert. The four of us have uh, tried to put these uh, series events together to uh, promote the uh, game of curling in the Edmonton and Alberta area. And uh, we're, uh, we're glad to, uh, to bring you some great, uh, some great live curling, uh, partnering with Curling Stadium, Jerry Gertz, and uh, um, our buddy James Gordon, who's behind the camera right now with a fantastic triple screen there with our Hub International Insurance logo as long as with the along with the overhead of uh, of the rings there one of our local sponsors here for the club uh, Rad Cycle Rad Style Cycle sorry uh, thank you very much for sponsoring the club locally here anybody out there that's uh, watching online if you're uh, part of the curling community and uh, and are part of a curling club, reach out to your local businesses and get them to sponsor the curling club. It's a relatively cheap uh, fee for sponsorship at the curling club here, but you get lots of uh, lots of recognition, especially now. Like I think we're going to be over, you know, five, six thousand views for the weekend for sure. And uh, all those local sponsors are going to get some advertising time there as well. So, little hit and roll here for Team Morizumi to uh, to lie three with. Uh, without the hammer. Good shot there. Team Huskins, I'm trying to say this properly, uh, had a great game uh, with Team Purcell here in the semifinal. And uh, it was actually 9-6 after seven ends. So we were uh, we were scared we we're gonna have to go put some more uh, scoring up on the board there uh, but uh, you know they had a they had a phenomenal game back and forth they're no they're not shy for rocks and play and and big shots here and there and uh, they came out victorious uh, it was a wonderful game streamed on curling stadium and alberta curling series so trying to work this one over nice little hit and flop or zoomy will uh Try to hit it right on the nose, maybe a little flop inside. Mr. Morizumi there and I have been uh, been friends for, uh, we were kind of laughing for 25 years, back when we were 15 years old, so we're aging ourselves. Uh, we, uh, we actually met, uh, my father was doing ice over in Japan and helping their uh, Japanese Curling Association out. And I actually got to uh, to come over to Japan and, and uh, and help him out with the ice and as well as meet these gentlemen and and uh, get some japanese culture which is absolutely second to none uh, absolutely beautiful country if you have a chance to get over there please do so and uh, yeah we've been uh, been friends get to see each other in the winter months when he comes over and they actually used to spend uh, uh, a few weeks actually a few months at our our house out in gibbons uh, which is a small town just north of edmonton and we got to yeah become pretty good friends uh, throughout the years and a uh, little bit of language barrier but not much they actually uh, kind of made fun of me a little bit last year when I was chatting with them and saying you know we, we speak pretty good English and I was uh, trying to say how are you because uh, my Japanese is not very well very good so they've uh, made a little joke that uh, they've been letting me speak like that and uh, for quite some time and uh, they actually know English pretty well, so now we have a pretty good conversation. But, anyways, good to see him here in the C final of the uh, Hub International Alberta Curling Series Championship against uh, the team from the Netherlands, Team Hoskins. Looks like they're just kind of overthrowing it a little bit here in the first end, just not quite getting the curl. Little amped up, right? You're uh, you're in the C event. You win, you lose, you go home. Or sorry, if you lose, you go home. You win, you have, you know, maybe a shot of, uh, you know, tw we're playing for over twenty-one thousand uh, dollars in this event. So uh, 
try to get the feel for it as as we go again we got the live chat up here in uh, Facebook and uh, and on YouTube so if you have any uh, if you'd like to do any shout outs uh, like to reach out at all please uh, please let me know I'm trying to get someone to come down here and help me with some uh, commentating so Again, reach out if you're interested for tonight at 7 o'clock. Great double double take out there. Uh, now Team Huskins is going to try to hit and roll behind the, the yellow guard. Oh, great, great management of the shot there. Probably still about uh, just a hair out, uh, maybe a couple inches. Um, and they're going to go with the out turn draw. Pretty tight little hole here. Again, could, should be an incredible match. So right now, as it stands, uh, in, on the A side, we had uh, Team Slichinski from Alberta qualify out of the A, which gets him right to the semifinal, which is tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Uh, we had Team Cap, team from Germany. Um, they qualified out of the A as well, so they're at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. We have Team Bruner from Switzerland. Uh, they are qualified, and they'll be playing at 7 p.m. tonight. Um, and then also Team Casper from the uh, from the U.S. They've uh, qualified out of the qualifier number four spot. They'll be playing tonight as well. So Team Casper will be playing the winner of uh, this game that we have here, and Team Bruner will be playing the winner of Team Yanagazawa and Team Dijon. Working on this pretty hard to get it around the guard. Oh, just feathered the guard. Fantastic shot, tap back. Beautiful shot, well swept. Thought they were gonna crash on the guard there, but fantastic shot. Real tough double here if he wants to take it on. Uh, it's probably a quarter to, a, to an eighth of a rock. But uh, that was a fantastic shot by uh, Team Morizumi. And uh, really going to put the pressure on here. So I think he is looking at uh, the thin double. So this one looks like, uh, okay, maybe the, the shot call has changed here. Tough result there, just haired it. Yeah, I just touched the guard. Sorry, I had to go back to the YouTube uh, station here. Our partner in Tim's Ice Manufacturing and House, Hacked House Solutions, Kyle Winters came through the door here, handed me a check, which is always great. So we have a intern hack weight shot to lie three and put the uh, team skins into a real big bind first end here. 
Probably gonna have the same shot he just played. Out turn tap for one. Morizumi can uh, get underneath a bit. It, it might be, uh, if he can hit and roll in, it might be very difficult for uh, Team Hoskins to uh, to get one. So again, we uh, warmed up the ice surface just a little bit here for uh, for today, as we only have two sheets going on for the rest of the uh, rest of the event. Uh, unbelievable, uh, unbelievable company ice advice. Uh, we can uh, we can get monitoring right on our phone. It helps us even know that the best part of it actually it helps us know if the plant goes down overnight, uh, the refrigeration plant and. It warms up so much that we might lose the ice. We'll know that before uh, uh, before the morning. It'll call us out and uh, it lets us know, hey, your plant's off and uh, you need to get in there and fix it. It saved us countless amount of times uh, throughout the years to uh, to make sure that we don't lose curling for the day. So it's actually paid for itself a uh, hundred times over. It's a very, very cheap and inexpensive uh, system that you can get for your curling club. It's called iceadvice.ca. And uh, yeah, reach out to Ice Advice for all your ice sensor needs. All right. Same shot. Just doesn't want to tick the guard here. Jamesy e. Gordon saying, Kyle, get in here and commentate. But both of us are wasting away. He needs to go get us some lunch. Working hard for the to curl now. Now it's straight. Curl. Keep curling it. It's real close. Might roll too far here. Ooh, they'll take a look at it. I'm going to say it is one yellow. But it looks like they're going to call for a measure. All right, first end, we got a measure at the Hub International Insurance ACS. Major, right at the Rad Style Cycle logo, local sponsors here at the Beaumont Curling Club. Thank you very much for Rad Cycle to, to sponsor the curling club like that. Look at this zoom action here from uh, from James G James Gordon here from Curling Stadium. Am I right? I can't see. Looks like it's red. Red. He just pointed at it. One red. Great shot by Team Corgans. And uh, one nothing heading into the second end. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, bond spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium. Calling all curlers, novice to pro. Ashen Curling Supplies patented rotator disc system lets you customize your slider right in the store. Velcro attachments make it easy to find the sliding platform that's right for you. Shop Ashen Curling Supplies, 700 McPhillips, online at ashen.com. 
sometimes curling just isn't as fun as it can be on the Nintendo Switch. With up to four players per console, you can enjoy curling with your friends and family anywhere, anytime. Let's play curling. Available now only on Nintendo Switch. Like it just looks like a wasteland, so like I can't even see. Huh? Oh yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're back here at <laughs> at the Huff International <laughs> Insurance Alberta Curling Series Men's Major. Sorry, I had a little chuckle here. Talking about, uh, we have a couple other clubs that we're uh, installing ice at right now. Uh, one's a sand base that we took over this year. And uh, it's been a little bit of a challenge. So something with sand bases, if you're out there, uh, uh, ice makers or anybody part of a club that has a sand base, really important to push down uh, your water and your, your paint from the year prior down the drain. Uh, and then, you know, uh, clean up the sand and, and get the, get as level as possible before you start. It's uh, gets really difficult if you're, you know, uh, if you let years and years of paint seep through and and uh, you really don't get that uh, great of a base. So that's kind of what we're dealing with at one of the rinks that we have right now. But it uh, it's all fun and games. So um, great shot by Team Gargans. And apologize if I'm saying it incorrectly. Trying to trying my best here as a nice maker and commentator. And uh, we're gonna see uh, kind of a hack weight when you touch your ankles there. That's he's talking about hack weight. Uh, hit on the one on the top 12 foot. Again, we got the Facebook up and YouTube and all that other good stuff. So anybody else that wants to do a a shout out or anything uh, sorry i can't read japanese letters but uh you know it says let's win the and go to the playoffs go team morizumi go team gargans so uh yeah we'll uh we'll keep you updated and posted here anybody in the beaumont area come on down to the beaumont curling club watch some international uh teams fight it out as long as well as uh you know, our one team here from uh, from Canada, Team Dijon, hoping uh, the best curling possible for these four teams in the C final. Winner of each of these games get to go into the championship round. James Gordon, right click and translate. I'm on my phone, Jamesy. So how do you do that? I don't think you can do it on the phone. So yeah, so uh, we got, uh, looks like we're about four, four and a half feet of curl here. Looks like we're trying to get upwards around 15 seconds with warming up the ice a little bit. And it's uh, it's coming in really nice here. So fantastic. Both teams have a real good grasp of the ice. I've uh, been playing real well here the last few games. All of these games, there you know, there really hasn't been any blowouts. Um, there have been some great curling matches uh, all in all. So fantastic curling down here at the Beaumont Curling Club. All right, just gonna try to follow it down here, tap it back a bit, or no. Playing a little split action and get your shooter to roll in the rings. Fantastic shot. Absolutely. So a lot of teams you'll see doing that now where uh, rather than just straight rip the guard, peel it off, they're uh, throwing quieter weight and uh, you know, pushing the uh, guard out of the way, but also keeping your shooter uh, in play, and uh, and usable for yourself. So, good, great job by Team Morizumi.
Again, shout out to our sponsors, as you can see there, Boston Pizza Beaumont, Hack to House, anything you, your uh, curling club needs, curling equipment, junior equipment, anything like that, brooms, sliders, grippers, uh, reach out to hacktohouse.com right here in Edmonton, as well as blade sharpening in here, Edmonton here from Hack to House, using their blades this weekend, absolutely phenomenal machine that they purchased. And uh, Scotty, our blade guru, has just been uh, uh, doing a great job, so trying to save the club some money and some turnaround time at Sharpening Blades here in Edmonton. Hackthehouse.com. Try us out. Tim's Ice Manufacturing. We run uh, and operate eight curling clubs around the Edmonton area, as well as uh, we are uh, able to help out for bond spiels and events, uh, as well as we do some weekly maintenance at, at curling clubs that, uh, uh, that just have a couple draws a week. Uh, we also do ice installs for curling clubs, hockey rinks um, anything like that for your uh, for your community so reach out to timsice.ca and if you want to see what we're all about a little bit of an over curl there didn't quite get the double team hardens is going to uh, head up there and just peel off the corner guard A phenomenal weekend down here at Beaumont Curling Club in the city of Beaumont. Community that's going to get really behind these events right now, obviously, when it's 25 degrees outside. <laughs> Trying to get the last rounds of golf in. He, even a buddy of mine is heading back up to the lake. They closed up their cabin last weekend, but they decided to go up again just because it's so nice out. Good old Alberta could change in a, in a heartbeat, so... Uh, Everyone wants to enjoy the great weather uh, that we have right now. So a big hit and roll for Team Morizumi, trying to roll right across the house and get it uh, grouped into the other rock there. Yeah, they're just going to check to see if that's in, but it doesn't really matter uh, if it's in or not. They're going to hit and roll over towards uh, their red rock, just a little bit right where the broom is there, to make the double uh, extremely difficult for Team Morizumi. Looks like this might roll too far, might be rolling out of the rings. So you'll see a pretty wide open end now, but uh, you'll try to, there is a rock back uh, in the back left there that eventually one of the two teams might try to roll in front of uh, to create a jam back there. So we'll we can watch that rock in the back just to see if uh, one, of the, one of the teams decides to try to make that hit and roll. Now two rocks behind the uh, behind the sheet there that they're gonna have to watch out for their blank opportunities here. All right, well this is the decision time. Where do you want to put this? There's, they're electing to put it right on the middle of the sheet. More than likely, they don't want to mess around with those rocks right now. But if there's an opportunity with their next stone to hit and roll in front of those uh, uh, other stones, that definitely will uh, will be an opportunity for them to force Team Morizumi. But right now, if you play in front of them or even freeze to them, it might give more, uh, Team Morizumi an opportunity to freeze back. 
or even uh, get closer in front of those other ones. So you don't want to play around if your team uh, Hogan's uh, to uh, uh, team uh, Netherlands if they want to uh, force more Zumi to either get one or uh, or a blank here. Also gives him another opportunity to get his weight down for the draw to the button. In case it, uh, no another end, they're going to put this in the memory bank. How was that thrown? What was the split time? You know, what was the hog to hog time? Uh, great, great sweet job, sweep job, and got the rock right there at the top of the rad, rad style cycle, right here in Beaumont. All right, uh, Team Morizumi's looking for just a straight nose hit. Maybe a hit and roll in front of those rocks just to uh, to give uh, Team Netherlands a, a... Give them just kind of a thought of, like, hey, you don't want to jam this. Good shot. So the only, the only, uh, I guess, negative of that shot is you kind of rolled about a foot too far. So if you would have rolled a foot less um, for uh, Team Netherlands, Team Corgans, uh, he would have had to uh, hit and roll out closer to the wings to keep his shooter uh, in play. Uh, if he wouldn't have done that, he could have jammed. So now it's uh, you know half a rocket rolls towards the center of the sheet and. Uh, you know, Team Morizumi will have a chance to blank. Again, thanks for your sponsor, Hub International Insurance. Trying to make it curl here. Ooh, big mistake. Shoot. Yeah, no, that's a big mistake. You know, it gives a Team Morizumi a chance to uh, hit and stick for two. Just a conversation of what turn, what weight they want to use here. They were probably watching really closely what uh, the Horgan's uh, team, th how he threw that last one. Uh, and, you know, was he a little bit inside? Did he release it out? Did he throw it really good? How the rock ran? So, you know, this is probably the right, uh, you know, more than likely the right ice to be taking. Uh, you just saw a rock come down this path. So nice and true out to the broom. Uh, solid weight out here in the wings and uh, nose hit. A little bit of an uh, inside roll for two points here. On, off, on, off at the moment. Needs to sweep it to keep it straight now. Hand goes up, fantastic shot. Two yellows, Team Morizuni up 2-1 at the Hub International Alberta Curling Series Men's Major here at Beaumont, Alberta. What will tomorrow look like? Will it be what you expected? Or something you could never have predicted? 
will it be frightening or exciting? Is it the reason you can't sleep at night or the reason you get up in the morning? Tomorrow will be all of these things. With Hub, you have a partner today who supports you in writing a more resilient, vibrant, and profitable tomorrow, protecting what matters most to you. Because the truth is, tomorrow is a gift, and we want you to be ready for it. So you're a pizza person, but you're married to a wing person, and your kids are salad people? You can't pick your fam, but with over 50 menu items to choose from, you can make them all happy. Order today and enjoy Boston pizza at home. Calling all curlers, novice to pro. Ashland Curling Supplies patented rotator disc system lets you customize your slider right in the store. Velcro attachments make it easy to find the sliding platform that's right for you. Shop Ashland Curling Supplies, 700 McPhillips, online at ashland.com. All right, we're back. 2023 Alberta Curling Series. Men's Major, brought to you by Hub International Insurance. My name is Matt Yo. I am uh, commentating for you here today. Anybody out there that's uh, listening, that's in the uh, Beaumont area, if you'd like to come down and, and give me a hand for the 7 o'clock game, that'd be much appreciated. That'll be the quarterfinals of the uh, series. Tonight, 7 p.m. at the Beaumont Curling Club. Big two, uh, big two points by Team Morizumi in the last ten. Uh, pretty, you know, pretty big, uh, pretty big mistake by uh, the Netherlands team, Koreans, uh, hitting and jamming the one in the back. But we were talking about that earlier. That, you know, those rocks might come into play. So, they did. Um, you got to watch those when you're playing just to make sure you uh, you have them in the back of your mind and, uh, and make sure that uh, um, you're watching the jams back there. All right, we're going to see a double trying to be made here by Team Morizumi. Double wasn't made. Hit and roll was, though. That's half a stone uh, buried there.
again, as you can tell, they just weren't going to just uh, rip apart the, the guard. They wanted to throw it nice and soft and hit and roll in front of their red, but just over-rolled it a bit. Gives Team Morizumi an opportunity to hit this right on the nose, maybe even try to roll in a little bit. Working on it hard. Might roll too far here. Hangs on to the back 12. That's really important to hang that rock on there. Now, you know, if uh, if that uh, rock ever does come into play, maybe it won't be able to be able to have blank end or whatnot. If that was hit and rolled right out, then this is pretty easy. The uh, hit and roll behind the guard, you run it back, maybe you don't make it. It turns into a blank end pretty quick, so very important for those type of shots to uh, uh, to make sure that you're uh, you're hanging around. <laughs> Trying to get that one to curl over. All right, draw around the center guard. Looks like they're taking about four and a half feet of ice here. Update on uh, sheet four, the other um, C final. Team Dijon is up two nothing on Team Yanagazawa. Watching this one in, it's kind of dead weight. Trying to carve it over now. No, just a little bit buried. Looks like a little under curl. Now a little hack weight hit and roll in front of the other yellow one. Would probably be the shot call here. Try to make more zoomy have a have a shot at uh, jamming it on the back one. Yeah, great shot there by uh, Team Horgans. Hit and rolled perfect in front of the yellow. Now Team Morizumi is going to be really careful in what they do here. Jamming it on the back yellow one would not be a good outcome. Leaning on 